Hi, it's Mike from Microsoft Boxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a piece of software which is completely free and can be used to clone your disk drives on your Windows operating system. This is from the people over at Haslio. We're going to take a look at their software today, and actually, it's come in very handy because unfortunately, one of my SSDs in my video editing rig is starting to show signs of wear. The health is down to about 80% at the moment, so potentially failure is imminent. And None of us like to lose data, myself included. So I've got myself a nice cheap two terabyte drive from Amazon, which uh, was actually posted in our Discord as a bargain. 66 pounds for a two terabyte drive. Absolutely fantastic. Now the drive in my PC is just for my games, so it's uh, not overly important, but it's a pain in the ass to download like a terabyte's worth of games. And also it's a good test to see what the speeds are like on this piece of software. So we will be transferring roughly a terabyte of data, which is uh, actually quite a bit. So we'll see how well it does in terms of its efficiency for file copies. I think I've waffled on for way too long. Let's take a look at the computer and see how it works. Okay, so here we are on my Windows desktop for my desktop PC. So let's fire up the internet and we'll go to the Haslio disk clone, which you can see I've already got here. Go to easyuefi.com. Uh, you can see the tools they've got. There's various other things you can do, but if you head over to the top here, go to backup and cloning. They do have a backup suite, which we actually covered in a video previously, but I don't need all that other crap. All I want is to just simply copy a drive. No faff in, no extra backups, no scheduled routines, just a simple disk clone. And also now they've improved it slightly, so we've now got the option to migrate Windows from one disk to another without reinstalling Windows, etc. Uh, clone one disk to another makes the disk exactly the same on both drives, clone partitions and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Which, yep, yeah, we are here, version 4.8 at the moment. We'll click on download for home use. If you want to use it for commercial use, then you do need to purchase a license for it, but this is just for home use, so download it. I'm going to set it to the Windows desktop. And earlier on in the day, I actually took one of my drives, put it into my system. You're probably seeing some footage from that, which we uh, did a little bit earlier. It's pretty easy to do. Most modern boards these days have multiple M.2 slots. So yeah, it does make life a little bit easier. If not, you will need some sort of USB caddy to hold your drive in. If you've only got one M.2 slot and you're copying an M.2, you can use a USB caddy. And I'll put some links for those in the video description. So we've downloaded the software to our Windows desktop. So we'll double click on that to get it started. You'll see the user account control, but you won't on this particular setup because I'm actually doing the OBS recording on this PC, which is probably not a good idea while we're doing the file transfers. But anyway, here we go. So English is our language, so we'll choose that. And you've got the license agreement, so just accept that and choose where you want it to install. There we go. It already in already exists because I did actually download it a little bit earlier just to see how it works and just go through those click yes all the way across and there you go so at the end you get the option to either launch the disk clone software or you can just finish whichever you want to do if you uncheck that it'll just close and it won't reopen so we'll leave that because we do want to see what the software is like and the first thing it does it goes over to that so we'll close that now it's going to scan your system for drives so this is the, the basic layout. So you've got the options up here for partition clone, disk clone, or system clone. Now, if you've done a system clone, it's going to automatically detect what your operating system is and the subsequent drives that are required. So the kind of recovery drives and all that kind of stuff. But if you just want to do a just a disk clone, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Just choose that one there in the middle. So it's really easy, nice application, very straightforward. So this is your disks listed here. So disk zero, disk one, disk two, and if we scroll down a little bit more, there's that one there. Disk three unknown, which is our new drive, which is the uh, unpronounceable S500 Pro, two terabytes. And the one we actually want to copy or cling is our two terabyte drive here. So this is our silicon power drive. This is the one which is failing. So we'll choose that drive. And we'll click on next because that is the drive we want to clone as it says there choose which drive you want to clone click on next and now it's going to say select the location you want to clone to so we're going to choose this one here disk 3 unknown and now we've got other options at the bottom if you've got a newer drive and you want to make it mbr so it's an older drive to fit in older systems or alternatively you can do it the opposite way so if you choose an uh, MBR drive, you can make it a UEFI drive. Obviously, it doesn't show that because 
all these drives are UEFI. You can also choose to do a sector by sector claim of the entire disk, including unused sections. That is probably going to take an absolute age. So I would recommend against that. If you don't choose that, it will do the intelligent sector copy. So it just does data sections, which is pretty much what you want. Uh, and also you've got the option here for keeping partition layouts. So say for instance, you're doing this from like a one terabyte drive and you're going to a two terabyte drive, rather than have it resized, you can have it so that the partition layouts are identical across the two drives. So the drive is an actual one for one copy. Whereas with this, it will kind of resize it. So anyway, we'll choose that one and we'll choose next. And now it's saying, do you want to change the file size, etc.? So you can go ahead and do any of those things you want to with the drives. But no, I'm going to leave that as it is. And that's going to be absolutely fine. So again, you've got an option again, sector by sector clone. You don't really want to do that. And also you've got the disk alignment. So you can choose disk alignments if you want to. Uh, 1M is basically an enhanced version of 4K. So I would leave it as 1M unless you have a reason otherwise not to. So that is pretty much it. So that is our games drive. It's going to copy it onto there. And yeah, I think we're pretty much ready. So click on proceed and it'll start doing it. So it's going to say the elapsed time on there. On my watch at the moment, and actually on the Windows screen there, it's saying... Uh, 34 minutes past two in the afternoon here on the 26th of the 11th, 2024. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And uh, at the moment on the bottom there, you do have an option for on completion. What you want it to do so you can choose it to shut down, reboot, sleep, hibernate or whatever. So if you're doing this, it's going to take absolutely forever and you just want your PC to go to sleep when you're done. So you can go to sleep in advance. You can choose any of those, but I'm going to choose do nothing because uh, we want to carry on and actually see if the drive has properly copied over. So I'm going to leave this running for a little while now and we'll see how it goes and we'll come back. And yeah, it looks like it's actually going to be uh, pretty quick, around about 12 minutes, I think. So I'm going to leave it running and we'll come back when there's something to report on. Okay, so we're getting towards the end of the cloning now and we've got about 30 seconds left to go, which is unfortunate because I was halfway through eating a sandwich. So that's going to have to wait. So this was actually a little bit quicker than I figured it would be. So we're looking at, could to be around about 11 and a half minutes. So I estimate about 13, so that's uh, that's not bad at all. Looking at the data rates, the read and write rates, so we're looking at around about uh, 1.3 gigabit per second, which is uh, yeah, pretty swift. More importantly, is it doing it accurately and will it actually work? That I think is gonna be the important question. So let's come up to the end now, one second left. The clone operation is complete. The operation completed successfully. That is done and dusted. So I don't think it's actually doing anything now. So can I click on finish? It would appear I can. So now we've got all of our data on the other drive and yeah, it only took just over 10 minutes. So absolutely perfect. If you want to copy one of your drives, put it onto another one, especially if the health is getting low. Like I said, here is my silicon power drive here. It has been in use for 16,227 hours and it's had over 2,355 power ons. So, you know, it's had a little bit of a hard life, but 81% isn't disastrous, but I'd rather get it swapped out now whilst I can. Now, after this is finished, so what I'll do is I will power down the PC, remove the old drive, and I'll do some swapping around of the M.2 slots because I've currently got it on one of the lower ones, but Actually, 10 light might be absolutely fine. I'll just take the other drive out and uh, I'm not too sure what I can do about it. If you've got any suggestions, let me know in the chat if there's any way I can actually improve the health of the drive. That'd be very interesting to know of. If any of you know how to do that, or is it basically one of those things that the, the NAND flash is just slowly failing as they generally tend to. So there we go. No, just checking, I've got no sandwiches left on my face or any coronation chicken. Carnation Chicken is really good, by the way. Um, I digress. So that is a really nice piece of software, and it's worked really well. And best of all, it was absolutely free. It didn't cost anything other than uh, 10 minutes of my time for transferring basically a terabyte of data onto our two terabyte drive. Happy days. Very impressed. And if you need to do some just simple disk cloning, I think this is going to be a very useful tool. And especially now we are in end of November. December's coming, holiday season. Maybe you're going to get yourself a nice new shiny M.2 drive for Christmas, or you're going to get a new PC and you want to clone your data across. 
I think this is going to be a great tool to use should you need it. So anyway, let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.